All right, what's up, y'all? It's like a fan here. As y'all can see by the title in today's video and what you're seeing on the screen right now, we got the ultimate slasher dribble tutorial. I'm gonna be showing you how to do moves like these, all types of other ones as well. So I hope y'all enjoy. If you do, feel free to drop a like, sub if you're new, turn on the noties, all that good stuff. Let's try this one to a thousand likes in the first 24 hours. As you can see, we got the controller cam on right now. What I'm gonna go ahead and do real quick though is pop this off with the power of OBS. And we'll bring those right back in a second, but real quick, I want to show you guys the attributes, badges, and animations for this build that we're using. This is the 6.8 Pure Slasher with 71 ball control and 99 driving dunk that y'all saw in the mixtape yesterday. If you haven't watched the mixtape and you're watching this video, either check it out before or after watching this one. I'm telling y'all it's well worth watching. I think it was my best mixtape I've ever made in any 2K, honestly. But anyway, as y'all can see, I got 71 ball control. Toward the end of this video, I'm going to be coming back to my finisher that has 65 ball control and show y'all how to dribble if you have below 70. But for this right here, this is me showing what animations I would use with 70 ball control. And then real quick, I want to show the badges that I use as well. So for any slashes out there, I, I value these three badges over anything. And this is a pretty, <laughs> it's a pretty obvious one. Contact finisher, fancy footwork, and slithery, right? These are my, these are my S tier badges or like A tier when it comes to slashing. And then after that, I think Acrobat is a really good one to have if you like to do the hops a lot. Giant Slayer is good if you're below probably 6'9 or so. And then Relentless Finisher is pretty necessary on at least bronze or silver. Definitely would recommend at least bronze consistent. And other than that, I don't really think you need anything. And <laughs> I'm not going to lie, it might be a little overkill when I hit Legend with this build where probably not going to need 31 finishing badges. And then here's what I got for shooting real quick. Just going to go over all this stuff. I want to put y'all on notice of this. I think tight handles low key helps you create space on your hop dunks. It's just a myth that I believe in right now, but this is what I usually use when it comes to the best playmaking ability. If you want to drop some of this for needle threader or bailout, absolutely. I usually rock at least bronze bailout on this build as well. And then here are the defensive ones as well. But anyway, to get all that out of the way, now we're going to go ahead and show you guys the animations. And you know, I forgot we can't have nice things in 2K, so I had to leave the arena to come out here and show you guys the animations. Then I'm going to go back in and do the dribble tutorials. So anyway, to get to all this, these are the animations that I'm going to be using. Jump shot 38 with the base, and then I have uppers for 45. I will say regular 38, it's fine in my opinion. I shoot plenty fine with it with 52 three-pointer and 10 shooting badges. I can't wait till I hit legend on the finisher as well, and I'm going to be shooting the exact same way as this build. Again, check out the mixtape if y'all haven't watched it already. But a couple key components of this dribbling tutorial that I'm going to be showing y'all is definitely, you could see the the between the legs that I did to set up that big spin, right? You need the Pro 2 crossover for the between the legs that I did right there. And then the Pro 7 spin is what I did to do the initial spin. And then you don't need any animation in specific to do that big spin dunk that I showed in the beginning. But I'll explain it to y'all when we get back in there. Pro 5 Hezzy, I like this as well. I only used it in like one mixtape clip because I like to... I like to use this down on the right stick rather than the, the hesitation when it comes to like moving around on the wing. I'll explain all this when we get back in here. And then Kobe size up package, super key. Long athlete layup package is a must. It's the best layup package in the game. We talk about this on the channel a whole lot. And then here are the dunk packages. I'm not going to lie to y'all though. There's nothing in specific about these dunk packages. It's literally just I have everything on that I possibly can to get every animation that I possibly can too. It's kind of just how I see it when it comes to slashing. And then when it comes to the park dunks, right? I do have park alley-oop dunks on. I would absolutely not recommend to use this right here though because it just goes ab like it just goes way too crazy, bro. And you will straight up just miss so many lob dunks off those. And then another key one that you saw in the mixtape too is normal 14 hop jumper. I'll show this when we get back in the arena again. But there are the animations that you guys need to see. We're going to make a quick little cut again. So we're going to start this off a bit complicated because I want you guys to be entertained by this dribble tutorial. But at the same time, I'm going to break it down really easy for you to understand too. So I'm just going to show it full speed. This is the big spin dunk that I'm going to be teaching you guys to do early on in this video. You can see if you watch the stick movements, it's a really big spin with the right stick as well as you have to do the spin on your own. Now, I'm going to break this down in the portions of doing it, right? So we have the rhythm dribble, which creates you moving forward like this. Now, you have to be moving straight to be able to do this spin right here. So to be able to do the between the legs and then do the spin, you have to be moving straight. Now, if you want to do the regular spin dunk without doing the prelude to it, just move laterally like that. You can see it sets you up perfect. And all you have to do is move horizontally. But again, to do it with the between the legs and the spin, you got to be moving vertically. So again, I like to start off with the rhythm dribble, boom, between the legs, then spin the other way. And there's not really a good explanation of verbally showing it to you guys. So if you just watch this back a couple of times, watch the right stick movement myself of like what I'm doing right here, understand I'm putting the inputs in a little bit early, right? Like I'm doing the inputs a bit early because that's just how the game works. You know, anything that you do with the sticks, it'll, it'll do after it's done doing the animation it's currently doing. So anyway, 
that is the breakdown on how to do that you can also do a half spin out of it it doesn't really look all that good and it's super inconsistent this is probably gonna look like complete trash but you can still do the half spin out of that as well again it doesn't look all that great but just to add some variety to your game so now let's dig in let's get into some more basic drill moves like i said so we have the rhythm dribble easy like that if you want to do this little size sideways offhand like size up package right here this is nice as well there's a ball hand one that is really not as useful and then some really good glue moves that i like to use and unfortunately with no takeover on my build i can't move out of these instantly so you know the pro and dribble moves they don't look quite as good and like as flashy when I dribble with takeover, it looks a whole lot better. Then we have things like these where we have the normal 14 hop jumper. I use this a ton. Combined with gold space creator, it just absolutely shrugs people off of you. <laughs> it's so easy to use. And then another good staple move that we have as a slasher is the profile behind the back. Now this is why I made this pure slasher in the first place instead of my finisher is because to have dribble moves like these, it helps so much. And you wouldn't really think so, right? You think like, oh, that's a pretty basic move. Like why do you need that? Honestly, it comes down to when your defender in the paint is shading you one way. Like say you have a corner help defender in that left corner, right? And you're driving this way. You are getting like the defender is kind of sealing you off. He's right here. He's not letting you get the contact dunk. You're going to have to move over to that inside inside spot, but you can't do it because you don't have a behind the back. But since you do have a behind the back, boom, work over toward the middle, get the contact dunk easy like that. And then combine with the hop dunks, you see a couple clips that I showed where I like flip the side one way then flip the side the other way with the hop it's a beautiful thing when it's all put together i probably am gonna cut the cut the video and like put some of that in there but anyway i just realized for a lot of beginners who are watching this video i probably should have verbally explained how to do some of these things so we're gonna backtrack just a little bit and explain some of these so for instance like this glue move that i like to use right where i just flick down on the stick you probably can't see it all that well but what i do is i hold rt to move fast but let go of it right before you flick down on the stick so it lets you kind of reset like this again when you have takeover you can move out of it instantly i just can't show you guys that right now and then to do the hop jumper all you have to do is move your left stick horizontally and hold your right stick down simple as all that so anyway to explain maybe a couple more things with the size up package you got to hold rt so you're gonna do that right there with the rhythm dribble you can't hold rt or else it's gonna do this little size up like in and out whereas you want to just not sprint and then as soon as you want to start moving sprint simple as that for all you beginners and stuff like that too but anyway to get into some other moves I, this is another like really good staple one as well where you're just gonna you know <laughs> basically y'all see point guards do this all the time where you're just gonna run back and forth boom pro 5 moving hezzy back and forth and it's as simple as that now i'm not gonna lie they probably use a different hezzy i think it's like pro 8 it's what a lot of people like to use and then if you want you can do this behind the back out of it as well it's not very explosive anymore as y'all know and especially when you only have 71 ball control not really worth doing all that much and then Again, a couple other things too. This right here has been game breaking. So we're talking Pro 2 moving crossover, but it's the between the legs, right? So maybe you can see what I'm doing with this, but basically you're gonna move your left stick a little bit in the diff in the other direction while just basically going down diagonal, down diagonal in each different direction to your offhand, pretty much. So to explain in a standing situation, you're gonna do it like this and then like this it's just your offhand while moving pretty much and when you get in a rhythm with it you you know you can just go back and forth with it while you're moving stuff like this so boom you're doing it like this and people cannot even steal the ball from you people all these point guards in the comments you guys can vouch for this but pro 2 moving crossover with the between the legs it literally can't be stolen i don't know why people spam it up the court sometimes and literally just do this all the way to the basket and okay now i'm out here tweaking but anyway Long story short, like I said, it's a crazy move. A couple other things that I could show you guys, I guess, and the reason that you don't want to, you know, be sprinting when you're doing this down on the right stick thing that I'm showing you right here, is if you are sprinting, you just do a snatch back, right? So it's gonna do this right here. So that's all I can say with that. Other than that, pretty much, you know, just to do the regular spin, you're gonna wanna move your left stick very in the direction that you're trying to move. For instance, if I wanna go vertical with it, you can see I can control which way I go off that Pro 7 spin. So. If you want to get the most distance off it you got to be just basically moving your stick as far away from you know the initial spot that you do it at just to kind of teach you guys how to use this pro 7 spin because i know not a lot of youtubers or like dribble heads really use this spin because i think that it's super good for slashers it sets up that move right there i just think it's a huge spin and it looks really good too you can even chain it into some hop dunks and stuff like that i think it's super nice and then if you even wanted to boom you just do a behind the back out of it too i don't know like bro there's a lot of combos you can do with this stuff once you really get down to the to the nitty gritty with it and really quick one thing i want to explain for all the beginners too um i use this lt like moving moving uh hezzy i guess if you will 
I don't really know what to call this. I, it's pretty much you just tap LT to do this, right? And this is really quick. You know, like this one right here, it has a little bit of delay to it, but it bursts really quick. Whereas this one, it has less like input delay pretty much where, you know, you can just move out of it quicker, but you don't get like the speed boost with it. Now, this is good for the people with low ball control. I'll show you guys that when I hop, when I hop on my finisher. But the last thing I want to show you guys is just what long athlete is capable of. If you're new to the whole like 2K scene and you're like a beginner trying to learn how to do the slasher stuff, long athlete is the way to go. You can get crazy hops like that. It's not even comparable to any other layup package. Got to have it on. It's crazy, bro. All right, so we'll keep this real short. This is the quick rundown on the finisher for anybody who's new to the channel. It's the finishing and defense pie chart. Six foot nine has good defense, good finishing, moderate ball handling with pretty low shooting, right? So it's still a hybrid. It can still do its thing with the speed and the ball handling, and it can still move if you do it right. And I'm here to show you guys how. So if you have anywhere from 50 to 60, I'd say 67 ball handling or even 69, I guess, um, this fits your, this fits your play style very well. So real quick, I'll just give a really fast rundown on the badge. Like I said, this is more of my big man build. So anything that I have on it is tailored towards setting screen. So we got brick wall, stuff like that. Clamps for switching on to point guards. You got rim protector, chase down, intimidator. Y'all get the deal. Anyway, so go ahead and show you the animations. Then we'll get real quick into the pro-am arena. I want to keep this video pretty slim. I know it's around probably like 12, 13 minutes right now anyway. But also, made it to this point in the video. Put long athlete in the comments to support this mid all the way through. You can see we got 38 and 45 on the jumper as well. But I only have like bronze quick draw on this one. Anyway. The best dribble move to use for anybody below 70 ball control. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say normal four size up package. I like this one personally. Then we got normal three moving crossover for the, between the legs. We got normal two behind the back. This is honestly the, the really bad thing about not having 70 ball control. There's no good behind the back animations. Normal three and normal two are what I would pick from. Basic one moving spin. I'll show y'all a cool little thing you can do with this, even though I can't really shoot, so it doesn't matter. And then we got normal three moving hezzy. And then for the triple threat style, I got normal four. I'll show y'all that as well when we get in there. But anyway. Like I said, long athlete, here are the dunk packages on this player for anybody who's curious as well. And then keep that normal 14 hop jumper on too. It's super clutch, no matter what your build is. I will say I can only do it with takeover on this player because you have to have the 70 ball control rating. But when you achieve takeover on a build with probably around 60 to 61 ball handling or higher, then you'll be able to do it when you have takeover on, if you have slash takeover. But anyway, in the arena real quick. So the dribbling does get dumbed down on this build just quite a bit because like I said, to not have the behind the back definitely hurts to not be able to do the hop jumper at any given moment like this. It definitely hurts because you're going to fumble it every single time if you don't have takeover activated. So just keep that in mind. Now what you can do, you're going to see I'm going to spam LT out of it, right? It allows you to stay like up pretty much. It doesn't let you, it makes it so you don't fumble it. If you try to time it perfectly, you can do that instead, but it's a little bit harder to do. And then again, I just want to enlighten you guys on the fact that a horrible behind the back like this definitely hurts. But <laughs> in my opinion, normal two is the best one you can pick from. Now, what I like to do to substitute it, if I can drop the ball and pick it back up. So I like to use triple threat, right? Triple threat is great if you have low ball control, especially off like 1v1 inbound, stuff like that. Or even if you're playing with somebody who say has flashy pass, or if you know about this little gem where, <laughs> you know, you just catch it boom like you know do whatever you want with it right like you can you can do all types of different little combos out of it what i like most is to do this right here just the one jab one jab and go it makes you move really quickly i like it a lot it's definitely the best way i would recommend to move with low ball control and then when you have your takeover on obviously you can just open everything up now this is why i don't like this right here i just feel like you now i actually got a really good animation out of that i don't like the inconsistency of doing that like uh pivot i would call it pretty much where and i don't know why i just did that but i don't like the inconsistency with this because sometimes it doesn't do that really good explosive one for whatever reason it wants to let me do it every single time but anyway i'll just move along so Again, the way I like to move around on the perimeter with this build, definitely the LT has these like this, but they can be very dangerous. You can see how it swings it like right back and forth. If somebody's in that in the way of that ball, like moving like that back and forth, you're going to lose it. So the way I would like to do things is to flick down on the stick and just, you know, move like this. But again, when I have no takeover on, it's very hard to explain that right there, flicking down and then doing the, the hop jumper as well are the great ways to move. But again, it requires a little bit of takeover. And then a thing that I really like to use with this player is that LT Hezzy right there. You can see it allows, allows you to move really quickly. Um, that's more of a 3v3 move, I would say, where, you know, you're coming up the court and uh, say like, boom, just hit this LT Hezzy, get like a really good speed boost. It catches them off guard pretty much. Like, you know, it it really accelerates fast. Obviously, that's that's what it does in that situation. And then uh, the normal four size of package, you can see it's, it's pretty nice, but you can't do any combos out of it because of the lack of ball control. 
in 2k20 you are absolutely limited in your like aspect of ball control when it comes to like what you can do just because you have the 70 ball control but you can see it's not it's not absolutely horrible especially when you achieve some takeover as well like when you get that takeover you can start going crazy but you know you don't really need the best dribble moves in the in the first place anyway because with long athlete it kind of bails you out to where it's almost like a built-in dribble move where you can just use it to glide past somebody pretty much and it's really whack honestly that even my build with 80 with like 80 driving layup gets it where i feel like my slap my pure slasher should definitely have it because that should be the gap between being a pure slasher that's my only benefit right and <laughs> i just feel like that makes sense but to have it with 80 driving layup doesn't really make a lot of sense anyway one last thing that i want to show you guys that you can do on any build and i forgot to show this was my escapes so you may see this every now and then so for instance when i grab a rebound come back out to the top of the key i like to do this half spin right here I, I also like doing a full spin. I used to do the full spins all the time in previous games back when uh, it was a little more snappy. And then another thing I like to do too is the half spin, LT Hezzy out of it, boom, then just work it back in. It's really good and clean and it's really good for checking out, especially if you're on the 1v1 court, boom, you can try to toe tap on the three point line. Let me see if I can get a clean one right here. It's where you just, boom, toe tap three point line to check it out and then go back in. It catches people off guard so much, bro. It's really crazy, honestly. But anyway. That's about it for the video. One last thing that I want to show is possibly the uh, the normal or the basic one spin. So this works well. It's kind of cool because the normal three moving crossover works really well with it. But is this any good because I can't shoot? No, not really. So it's not really worth anything for me to be able to do this. Um, I guess it looks cool, but you know, it's not really all that worth doing at the fact that I can't really shoot very well in this build. If you're a play glass who has like below 70 ball control somehow, definitely like this move would be your bread and butter. I mean, you can do this with basic dribble moves, you know, normal three, basic one spin, stuff like that. Normal three moving crossover. It's really clutch. And I mean, you don't really need anything otherwise. You can just LT Hezzy off this. Boom. Easy as that. So hope y'all can see that with the, with the sticks and stuff. I don't think it's that big a deal in the first place anyway. If you want to try to substitute for the big spin, I don't even think it's possible to do it, but let's, let me try. So you can see like, it's very hard to do like a horizontal spin. It just takes you backwards every time. So what I would say is if you want to do the spin dunk on a, on a build like this, you're probably just gonna have to move laterally rather than rely on, you know, the, the between the legs and spin on my other player that I show. But again, I mean, this still looks super clean. <laughs> like it's actually crazy that you can move this far with so with such low like ball handling ability because it's just a dunk at the end of the day. It's not actually like a ball control thing. But anyway, hope y'all enjoyed the vid. If you did, feel free to drop a like, sub if you're new, turn on them noties, all that good stuff. Like I was saying, let's try to get this one to a thousand likes in the first 24 hours. I really do appreciate all the support y'all been showing. Hope the mixtape went well. I'm recording this right before it uploads. So I'm hoping the mixtape did well. I, I don't know. Honestly, I want to enlighten y'all a little bit. The mixtapes don't do too well in comparison to a lot of other videos. I feel like YouTube's algorithm just doesn't promote them very well. When y'all can show love to the mixtape, it means a lot to me because it's a fan favorite thing. I only make them because y'all like to watch them because like I said, they're very low performing videos. I make no money off of them because of copyright and stuff like that too. And they're just not necessarily worth making. And it takes a lot of time in comparison to my other videos. Like I spent four hours making that thing. But anyway, the point is I make them because y'all like to see them. So if y'all could drop some support and like, you know, drop a like on that video, drop a like on this one. And we're doing the mixtape film study tomorrow as well. So I'm going to be breaking down how to actually slash and show you guys in game the things that I was doing. So anyway, hope y'all enjoyed. And if you made it to the very end of the video, put finisher in the comments to show your support that you made it all the way through to the end of this vid. On that, hope y'all enjoyed. Take it easy, man. Peace.